Hi guys, Rich Piscini here. Today is March 2nd, 2020. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. It's greatly appreciated. Hope you like the content and come back for more. Today I want to talk about buying a thermal printer to print out your USPS uh, shipping labels. Um, I've been doing a little research on it myself and I came across this company called PC Liquidations. Now folks, I don't have any affiliation link with them so I don't want you to think if you buy anything from them I'm going to get any kickback because I'm not. Uh, for those who know me or you've been following me on this YouTube channel, I love to share information with you guys out there and if I could save, help you save, if I could save money, I would like to help you guys save money. Now I didn't buy a printer just yet, okay, but I just want to just throw that out there, you know, because I don't want you to think, oh, did you buy one yet? But if I do get one, um, I'm going to do a demo video on it, or I should say, you know, I'll do like an unboxing of it and, you know, show you how it works and so on and so forth. Now, I just want you to know one thing, though. With the PC liquidation, the printers they sell there, they're, they're manually priced pretty good. Um, and they, and yeah, I've seen cheap ones on eBay as well. Um, but the thing is with their printers, uh, a lot of them may have the parallel or serial uh, printer adapters now. You can get those cables from the company itself. They're additional, along with the power supply. <clears throat> now, um, I, for me, it wouldn't be too bad on my part because for the simple reason is I can get those cables at my local thrift store for $1.99. And even that goes for even a power adapter. I think the power adapter is probably like, I don't know. I think that I've seen them, yeah, they're going for $1.99 too. What am I saying? Yeah. So for me, it would be a very minimal investment, kind of like on a, on a cheap side, which that's what I am. I consider myself a frugal entrepreneur. But uh, for the most part, um, if you guys were to look into it, the good thing about it, what I like about PC liquidations is um, I never bought for them yet. Okay, so you might say, how could you endorse me if you don't bought for them? No, I know. I understand that part. But I'm saying what I do like about them is that they offer you a 90-day warranty. Now, you might say, well, there's some eBay sellers out there that have that too. I don't know. I haven't come across any of them. Um, I got a window open up there just to show you. Uh, you know, I'm going to bump out here in a little bit and to show you uh, what they're selling for, the Zebra printers. Um, I, I think you guys are familiar with that. And Dymo, Dymo makes a printer too. I think it's the 4XL. Um, the, these printers are, require a 4x6 roll, you know, paper like that there, you know. It's got to be a 4x6. And uh, you could buy that, of course, off of eBay as well. You could also buy from PC liquidations as well, you know. But you're better off uh, with certain things, you're better off going to eBay or do your own research as far as that part goes. Uh, the, for all intents and purposes, this video is just to give you a little idea on what's out there and, if, you know, just to help you kind of like, you know, coach you along and say, you know, to let you see what you can get for a good price and would, at least with a warranty on it as well. Now, the reason why I'm talking about, you say, why is a warranty important when you're buying something pre-owned? For the simple reason is, um, I've been on some of those, I've been looking at some of those um, sellers who are selling those printers and some will say no returns on them okay now again with ebay if, if a buyer is it was just a, not a buyer remorse but in some cases but if the thing turns out to be non-functional after two or three weeks yes i'm sure you can return it and ebay is going to make good on it but uh what i like about pc liquidations they're uh, they recertify these items these these tools they refer you know these printers they're refurbished and they get checked out and they're pc certified uh, so I'm going to take you over there. I'm going to show you that in a little bit. But also, I want to show you really quick here. Um, now, with those older printers, they do have, uh, the, like I said, the parallel ports, okay? The, the parallel or serial, I think they come with both. And I'm going to show you that there in the video. I'm going to show you that, uh, you know, when we go to that website um, about that there. Now, if you're a person that has older uh, peripherals, like an older PS2 mouse or a PS2 keyboard, you could buy these cables. Now this cable here, I got this local cable, I got this at my local electronics store. It's a USB to PS2, okay? And what they, the reason why they color code like this here is I believe the, uh, don't quit me wrong, my glasses on here. Let me just see really quick which one it is here so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Cause one is for the keyboard and one is for the mouse. They usually have an indicator here. Well, I can't see it. Anyway, uh, usually one's for the mouse. It's usually, I think the, uh, I think one, this might be for the keyboard and this might be for the mouse. I could have it reversed, but uh, that's what, so, and then you would connect it here and, you know, two, and you could pop them both into, you know, you could pop this here, this two to one into your USB connector, and you could use an old PS2 keyboard and a PS2 mouse with that there. And I got this, like I said, at my local thrift store, oh, look at this, I got this at my local electronics store, and that's what you would be looking for, USB to PS2, if you 
come across, I, let me tell you something, at my local thrift store, they have a lot of USB uh, mouses, and a, no, no, a PS2 mouses, and uh, a, quite a few keyboards, PS2 keyboards, and they're really nice condition, they're really clean and everything, they're really nice, and you know, they work, they're functional, I, I've been buying them and selling them, and not now, in the past I have, I haven't been doing it recently, that's why I bought that kit, you know, that little uh, cable there to do the testing on it, to make sure the mouse works, because you know, sometimes it had the ball in there. Uh, that I always make sure that's always working good. Uh, you never had really problems with that. I, like I said, I sold those before, and everything is good. I also sell some brand new ones, too, at one point. But um, what I wanted, the reason I'm showing you that is because I'm going to show you that you can get the uh, parallel adapter if you do decide to go. Even if you buy off of eBay, uh, they have the parallel adapter that will go from parallel to USB because the newer computers today, uh, the ones I have, I have an HP one. It's a fairly new one. Um, they don't have any USB connect, uh, parallel connectors back there. Not the ones I have, and not the ones I've seen anyway. Uh, you probably, you, you most likely, uh, you can if you need it, you can switch out that there, or if you have an extra space in your computer, you could probably pop one of those cards in there, and you could pop, a, you know, use a PS2, uh, what do you call it, the parallel uh, cable, you know, with that there, if you decide to do so. But that company, PC Liquidations, <clears throat> they do sell uh, the cords there, and each time you hit the, each time you hit it to add the, you know, the price will go up. So if you're looking at something cheaper, by the time you add the power adapter and the printer cable, it will go up. And that's why, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that's why I want to, that's why I'm doing this video to show you that you know even if you do buy off of them, that you can still, I think you can still get a good deal. What the part that I like about it the most is I like the warranty on it, and and I like it the fact that you're dealing with a company. Uh, not that I'm saying dealing with an individual such as myself, you're going to get not a good deal, but it's nice to know <clears throat> that you could use that there, you know, and say, hey, okay, I got this here, and, you know, I don't have to worry for the next 90 days if something doesn't work, or I can send it back or whatever. In most cases, companies like that will uh, probably just give you another printer if it's really, if it goes bad, you know. So that's, that's something you want to think about when it comes to buying uh, something off of, uh, you know, a company, you know. All right, anyway, let me bump out of here and uh, you can check it out, okay? All right, thanks. Okay, as you can see here, there's a variety of these printers. There's the Zebras, 269, there's the Thermal Printer, uh, Shipping eBay USPS, you know, and they got that there, the iOS, iPhone, iPad, Wireless, I guess that's that printer there. It looks like to me that's a brother. I can't tell from here. I'm, I'm looking at it, but I can't see the printer. So I wear glasses for reading. But you're going to come across a lot of different ones here. Now, some of the printers, I had the um, these printers before, the Dymo. Now, if I'm not mistaken, my memory serves me right, uh, unless it's a different model. I had the Twin 450, I believe it was. And I couldn't fit. Now, when you're printing out labels, the way I understand it, correct me if I'm wrong, um, they usually want you to use 4 by 6 rolls over here like this here. It's over here. Uh, I'm just looking at this really quick. It's a six, and this is for the Zebra printer. And uh, it's 16 rolls at 4 by 6. Now, when I had my uh, Dynamo, it was the 450 model. I don't know if that's what this one is here. And... Um, the uh, print it was too small to print like that. There it was. On, it was coming out. I think I don't know, maybe two, three inches, whatever. But I believe in order to print out uh, the labels for the USPS, uh, they got to be at least four by six. That's why I understand it. But anyway, um, just keep that in mind. If you are going to get a Dymo printer, the one you're going to be looking for is the 4XL. I think it's a 4XL. You'll see what I'm talking about. But they have a variety of them here. Like you see here, they got the thermal printer here. Uh, again, that's that one there. You got to check into it before you buy it. The Zebras, we know the 2844. Uh, these, as far as I know, they all work uh, with the 4x6 in there because that's the one you want. When I worked in a company, you know, big corporations, I remember going to the mail room. They usually had these printers. This one was either this one here. Well, yeah, Zebras. Uh, yeah, they had the Zebras. This is another one that came out with um, this one. I don't know if this is called the Rolo one. It looks like Rolo. I've been hearing people talk about those there. Uh, it's pretty cool. This one here is self-contained. I think you put a roll in there, if I'm not mistaken. In the back of it, you open up and you put, you drop a roll in there. Yeah, that's what they have these there like that. And, um, you know, it prints like that. This one here, if this is the Rolo, that's what it looks like. I can't see that the logo here. Uh, what you would do is you would get a sheet, and uh, it'd be like, um, how can you say it? Like, well, picture... Uh, continuous feeding sheets and you would place it behind the print behind this printer here and it would run it all and I seen these things work and they are pretty fast they if you're a person that's a high volume seller these things will crank out 
uh, those labels. Believe me, I seen them working. But look at the prices though: two forty nine, two thirty two. Uh, the same thing even with the refurbished ones: one sixty seven. Um, this is the ones we used to have at work: the ZP five hundred. And these things were diehards, but I tell you, they worked really great. You know, and you can see over here it tells you right here the ZP uh, five hundred label uh, thermal printer. Uh, Shipping if it's for eBay, Amazon, FedEx, and US and P USPS and UPS. This is what we had. It was really good. Uh, again, uh, you can get it, like I said, for 120 And this comes with the free shipping. The only thing is, though, I was looking at some of these here. Um, some of them will have no returns on them. So that's why I'm going to show you this next company here. But if you look at the prices, if you're a person that's very conservative like I am, well, I can't say, speak for you, but I'm very conservative. And uh, I, try, I always try to get more bang for the buck. So uh, if you look at the prices here, if you're into Zebra printers, um, the, these are a little pricey. For me, they are anyway. I don't know about you guys, how you feel about it, but there's a company that I deal with. Well, not I deal with. I found the, I came across through uh, somebody letting me know about it. It's called PC Liquidations. Um, here, they had that there, the 24. This, now, they come different models now. The LP2244, uh, 2442 PSA Parallel. When you see parallel, if you look at the back of it over here, when they switch it around, there is no USB connected. These are parallel printer cables that you're going to need. Now, if you're unsure and you say, well, what am I going to get? You could call them up. I called up the service there. Very good people. They, they'll walk you through it. they got a, toll, uh, a number right over here. I believe it's toll-free, Yeah, 888-645-654-3376. Yeah, Very good. Um, I, I didn't buy anything yet. I know it's showing in the card here. The reason I was doing it, I wanted to figure out what it was going to come to with the uh, shipping in here. So that's why it looks in there. I'm not going to buy one just yet, but I'm more or less leaning towards this, this company for the simple reason is they give you they offer you a 90-day warranty. Now, what's not included, and now here's the thing. Here's where it could get a little tricky, uh, again, uh, if you, you aren't sure where to get these things here. Now, when you start, this here, it starts at $34.98. What happens is when you start adding in the parallel printer cable, if you're going to go parallel or serial, which is either or of these here, um, and then you get the Ethernet, it's a little cheaper. Now, I would always go with the parallel, okay? So the reason why I'm going to show you that next about the how you can go from the parallel to and it'll convert it into a USB. So when you click it in, you notice the price does change, okay? The power supply, for some reason, they don't include it. Now, the, <laughs> the thing comes in with the power supply, it's uh, $74, okay? But I'm going to I'm going to explain something to you really quick before we get into it. And then if you want to buy uh, a five pack or whatever, a 25 pack of paper here, the thermal labels, uh, yes, that will jack this thing up to over, well over $100. Uh, again, I wouldn't buy that off of, uh, of this particular person for the simple reason is um, the parallel cables. I can get these at my uh, my local thrift store for $1.99. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is uh, if you disregard this here. And the power supply, um, you can get a cheap, instead of spending $25, you can get, um, let me get this out of here. You can get yourself a universal adapter that will connect to this here, and you'll be able to power it a lot cheaper than what they're charging here. Now, the advantage with this company is it's PC certified, number one. They offer a 90-day warranty. And if anyone's wondering if I have an affiliate link, no, I do not have an affiliate link with PC Liquidation. I'm just sharing this with you and telling you as to why I would prefer to buy from them in some cases as opposed to buying off of eBay. Now, eBay, you can get all of this. In some cases, you'll get all of that. You'll get the cable and stuff like that. And if we go back there, um, let's just see, for example, let's get these look like, like these are refurbished. But let's see what you're going to get with this here, okay? Uh, let's just pick one up here. Let's see. Let's just pick one just for random. Let's see. Uh, all right. Now, this one here for $99, you get to buy it now. Okay. Let's click it on. Okay. You're gonna, it's going to cost you $10 for shipping, which is not too bad. So it brings you over $100 easy. But you're going to get the USB printer cable, the power adapter, and you also, yeah, now this is, what is this here? This would plug into this, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this would plug into this. This plugs into the back. Now, again, I can get these things at my local thrift store for $1.99. Okay? All right? Um, and as far as this printer here, uh, again, you could, you could get that cheaper. Now, I've seen at this place here, they do have cheaper printers here. Okay? They do have cheaper printers. Um, let's see. And, and you also get a little specifications here. It tells you it's 30, uh, a thermal. Maximum print seed is 64 
uh, I guess milliseconds, whatever. Uh, the, the print resolution, of course, is uh, 203 DPI, and its output is monochrome, of course. And they give you the serial ports is one, parallel ports is one. It's just telling you you don't get it. But if you look over here, you will see some other cheaper ones here. Okay, uh, here's one for 2598, 1898. 1898 and I think they have some more here if I'm not mistaken no okay maybe I'm wrong here okay I remember I thought I could have seen they had more here's another one I was looking up before for $15.97 it's the Ventana uh, e-bar serial parallel thermal label printer now I never heard of Ventana okay I'm not familiar with it um, I know that, that as far as I know they are on eBay they do sell uh, but a lot of them see not a lot of them, but I seen a couple that were for parts not working okay but again uh, if you're going to go with this company here, if you want to check them out or read a little more into it, uh, you, you, might, well, you, might, you, know, you might check it out. It's up to you. Again, I don't have any affiliate links with them. I'm just sharing this information in case you're in the market for you know, getting one of these uh, printers here. Okay? Uh, and the thing is, like I said, they're PC certified, uh, which means if it says these items have been refurbished, uh, yeah, been re refurbished. And refurbished items have been cleared, tested, and confirmed to be fully functional. Grade A refurbished items show uh, wear of uh, consistent use and can have some scratches that may have some yellowing or discoloration. Well, now you got to remember one thing, folks. These are not brand new. They are refurbished, okay? Um, when I called up the last time I was inquiring about one of these, I told the guy, I said, well, if I get one of these off of you, I say, can I get the white one here that's showing? I want that nice white one here because this looks a lot more newer than, than these color ones, you know? Like, for example, you can see over here, these are, you could tell these are old, but, you know, well, they've been, probably sitting in an area where there's a lot of sun, you know what I'm saying? But again, if you're on a tight budget and you, uh, you want to try to uh, save a little money, um, you could try checking into one of these as well. But again, if you, if you can get, just in closing, this here, if you can get the power adapter, uh, you know, for these things here, you just got to know the voltage on them and stuff like that. I, I, like I said, again, I see them all the time at my local toy store for $1.99. So I'm not worried about that. I, you know, even, I'm talking about the power adapter, and that even goes for the printer cable. They sell the printer cables for $1.99 as well. So um, for me, if I bought this here, of course I'm going to pay shipping, and probably there's going to be tax, no doubt, in here. Um, it's still, I, I think I'd still come out with a pretty good deal if I was to be, really go with one really cheap instead of going with this one for $30, $34, which starts out, okay? But you got to look at them, though, okay? Now they do, as far as I knew, they do have some that do uh, have USB, Okay, uh, connect this there. All right, and the thing is, if you do get this here and you, you have to get those cables, um, eBay, of course, for $2.94, you would get this parallel, uh, the parallel port LP21, 72 pin. This here, just to show you really quick, let's go back to that one again here. See this here, this big one here? This would connect right over here, guys. I want to show you. That would go right over here. Okay. That's, that would go right over there, all right? So that's where that big one goes. So that's what I'm trying to say. Even though these are older model uh, printers that require a parallel cable, they make them now where you can uh, use this here and plug it into USB port. Because I noticed today, well, if you notice, I've been noticing a long time ago, <laughs> uh, they're doing away, not, not all, I don't know about all the computers, but the ones I deal with, the HPs, I don't see them dealing with that anymore, those little uh, screw-on connectors, the, you know, the parallel and the serial printers. Uh, at, least, uh, at least on my computer, I don't see it on mine, <laughs> unless they forgot to put it in. But you're never stuck with it, but you see what I'm saying, folks? But if you do have to, and I've seen these, I've seen these at my thrift store well, as well, you know, Cheap, $1.99, but here you get over $2.94, you're getting a brand spanking new one, okay? And I'll even tell you over here, the condition is new. 30 day, here you get 30 day returns. Buy it, pays return shipping, okay? Just keep that in mind if you do buy one. You see, and it says over features this USB to parallel adapter cable allows you to connect your parallel printer to your computer's USB port. Simple to use, plug and play the adapter, and you can read the full description about this here, okay? So you're not, you're not stuck with it. Like if you say, geez, that's an old printer. Um, you know, I'm getting stuck with it. Let me just bump out of here really quick. Well, that concludes this video. I hope you found the information helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updates to when I post on our videos, please hit that bell notification icon. My name is Rich Bassini. I'm wishing you guys all the best in your sales. Let's make 2020 a great year for selling. Uh, we could all use the uh, luck this time, you know, so I'm wishing you guys all the best. Until next time, bye-bye for now.